Hi. Now we're given this uh, sketch of the curve y equals 1 minus 2 cos x, where x is measured in radians. And we're shown this uh, finite region s enclosed by the curve and the x-axis between the points a and b, with x-coordinates x equals pi upon 3 and x equals 5 pi upon 3. And this region S is rotated through 2 pi radians about the x-axis. And what we've got to do is find by integration the exact value of the volume of the solid generated. So if this is a question you would like to have a go at and haven't done so already, then just give you a moment as usual to pause the video, do come back and check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So to do this, what we've got to do to find that volume of revolution, that volume V is going to be equal to pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x going between these x limits, x equals pi upon 3 to x equals 5 pi upon 3. Now I haven't got much room to do this, so what I'm going to do is just say x equals a to x equals b. Now what we're going to do next is just substitute for our y value. Okay, so we're integrating from a to b y squared. So we've got 1 minus 2 cos x all squared, integrating that with respect to x. Next I'd want to expand the bracket and so we're integrating from a to b and if we expand this in the usual way we're going to get the first term squared which is 1 twice the product so that's going to be minus 4 cos x and then to this we add the last term squared so that's going to be plus 4 cos squared x and again integrating all of this with respect to x. Next I'm going to just start to examine these terms, but getting them ready for integration. I know I can integrate 1, that's no problem, and I can integrate 4 cos x, but 4 cos squared x, we're going to need to uh, modify this. And to do this, we call upon the double angle identity, which you should be familiar with, the cosine of 2a. It's identical to 2 cos squared a minus 1. Generally we'll find this in most formulas books, but if not, do learn it. Now we make 2 cos squared a the subject just by adding 1 to both sides, so therefore we have 2 cos squared a is identical to 1 plus cos 2a. Now if I let a be equivalent to the x, we've got 2 cos squared x there is 1 plus cos 2x. So I can see that just by doubling this, we're going to have 4 cos squared a is identical to 2 plus 2 cos 2a. So as I say, letting x be the a, then when we get down to here, we've just got to copy 2 plus 2 cos 2x into this. So we'll have our integral between a and b of 1 minus 4 cos x, and then here it's going to be 2 plus 2 cos 2x, so 2 plus 2 cos 2x, and we're integrating this all with respect to x. So we just need to uh, work at integrating these separate terms now. So if I now integrate each of these terms, we've got the volume V equals pi, and then we'll just put some square brackets up here. So the integral of 1 with respect to x is just going to be x. The integral of minus 4 cos x with respect to x is minus 4 sin x. And then the integral of 2 with respect to x is 2x and then the integral of 2 cos 2x with respect to x is just simply plus sine 2x. OK, so if we put our limits here, going from a to b, let's just clean up some of these terms here. I can see that we've got two x terms. We've got x plus 2x, that's going to be 3x then. And then we've got minus 4 sine x 
plus the sine 2x on the end here. And again, going between our limits a and b. I think what I'll do here though is just put a as now pi upon 3 and b we've got as our limit 5 pi upon 3. If I just squeeze that in there, I hope you can see that okay. And then all we've got to do is put our values through, starting with 5 pi upon 3. So we've got pi on the outside here and if we put 5 pi upon 3 in for x, we've got three lots of 5 pi upon 3 which are going to be 15 pi upon 3. And then we've got minus 4 sine of 5 pi upon 3 and here plus sine of 2 lots of 5 pi upon 3 so it's going to be plus the sine of 10 pi upon 3. So we close that off and to this we need to subtract. So I'm going to have to push it on the next line. Okay, We're going to have to subtract what do we get when we now put pi upon 3 through here. So 3 lots of pi upon 3 is just going to be pi. And then here we've got minus 4 sine of pi upon 3. And then finally plus the sine of 2 pi upon 3. Just close that bracket off and finish the square bracket off there. Now, if you work this out on your calculator, what we've got here anyway is 5 pi, 15 pi divided by 3. The sine of 5 pi upon 3 multiplied by negative 4 gives us plus 2 root 3. Okay, working in an exact form. We've got the sine of 10 pi upon 3. That turns out to be minus root 3 upon 2. So we've got that first section. Okay, now we've got minus, and if we work this out, we've got the pi here, and then 4 sine pi upon 3. Well, that comes to 2 root 3, and we've got the minus there, so it's minus 2 root 3. And then finally, the sine of 2 pi upon 3, well, that turns out to be plus root 3 upon 2. So just close that off like so. And then if we just simplify this, what we've got, it equals pi multiplied by 4 pi plus 3 root 3. And there's your answer. Although being a volume, you might want to put units cubed. Okay, it's up to you whether you do that, but uh, I just think it looks good if you do. All right.